Hello. How you guys like the blackout curtains? Finally purchased some. Emperor Zing, hello, Krugers. Epsilon keyboard, Seacrass. What the heck? Wow. Hunter, pretty dark. Yeah, you guys wanted blackout curtains. That's what a blackout curtain looks like. Very nice. Way less light. It is a lot darker. There's absolutely no sun. Uh, no, yeah, there's absolutely no sunlight. Or should I just remove these ones and just only have it above my head? SMH, can't see your hair? All right, I can't have everything. Hello, Chris. Give us more light. Do you guys not want the blackout curtains anymore? Nilled Wheat, thank you so much for the Prime. Yoshi with the two months, huge load, come on. Thank you so much for the tier one sub. Uh, screaming Triceratops Crabs with the Prime. Nico is Buzzkill, what the? Thank you so much for the five gifted subs. I forgot that you were streaming. How are you doing, sorry. Guppy Vo with the two months, Croy with the two years, wow, wow. Not Bella with the prime, right? RP, thank you so much for the four months. Quacker Clack with the five months. Ha Hami Low, thank you so much for the bits. Z Zimena, thank you so much for the five bits. Tyler the Gora with the five dollar tip. Kith me? Handmade Middle with the two months. Junia with the nine months. Thank you, thank you. Certified E Girl with the tier one sub. Fagrock with the 15 months. Fish Biscuit with the bits. Thank you, thank you. Uh, cafe types with the two months. Cafe types. <laughs> Asian Nathan with the four months. Sparrow with the 14 months. LPF Studio with the four months. Hamilo with the prime. The powers of derp with the four months. Saucer with the 20 months. Seacrest with the nine months. Zua B with the tier one. The great Arkin with the four months. Holy, so many resubs today. How many t shirts do you owe? I wouldn't say a whole lot. The squeezies with the two months. Recon with the tier one, Keith with the prime, Anderson Cooperson with the two months. J Little Things with the two months. <sighs> oh, Suki, hello, how are you doing? You're gonna regret those blackout curtains in the summer, bro? Well, yeah, I'm only gonna have it on for stream. When I'm not streaming, I'm gonna have it up. My, my room is actually just way too dark without it. <laughs> if I turn off all my lights, yeah, it's pretty much nighttime here. <laughs> I need all my I, I can't have it on during non-streaming hours. It's way too dark. It's been so, it's been such a long time since last stream. What do you mean last stream was last Wednesday? Mm, I didn't miss a stream. Just move again. <laughs> um, ooh, some news. Some news chat. Uh, tomorrow. Normal stream time. I'll be building a PC. No keyboard tomorrow. We're gonna build a PC. And then I'm thinking on Saturday, I owe you guys a cat only stream. How does Saturday sound? I might have to cat sit uh, an extra cat. So I may potentially have five cats in my house on Saturday. So I think I'll do a cat stream then. Can I scold you on whatever you do wrong during the PC build? Yeah, sure. I'm gonna. I'm. I'm ready to be Verge 2.0, man. I haven't really. Yeah. <laughs> it's gonna be chat builds my PC. <laughs> Five cats. That's too many. Yeah. I have two cats. My sister has two cats, and then we're gonna be babysitting a, a fifth cat for the weekend. So I think this Saturday I'll do it. We can always have Soran Cam. Wait, what? Soran Cam for what? I'm allergic to cats? GG. Can I give you some CSGO cases to open? I have not opened CSGO in a very long time. <laughs> um, well, we want to see Soran. Sounds like a waste of a stream. <laughs> Rose's Garden with the six months. Hello, what's up? Dog, how you doing? I've been good. John B, thank you so much for the four months. Hello, Mr. Taya, can I get a Hoya? There you go, there's my Hoya. 
Uh, Mongo likes candy. Thanks for gifting us a paint. Thanks for the tier one. Sugi, thanks for the two months. Thank you, thank you. Bad Gamer, thanks for the Prime. Savvy, Sav Sav with the Prime. Captain Stu with the bits. Uh, Dora Explorer with the Prime. Wolo Lao, thank you so much for the 11 months. Chico's with the Prime. Top Flight with the Prime. Fincy with the nine months. Anyone here from Pink? What is that? Pink Whale Game. Oh, the whale. Did that happen today? Was that today? Game Ball, thanks for the one year. Any gamers with Chill in space, thank you for the two months. You forgot to sign the hatchet? Oh, crap. I'm so sorry if I forgot. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Oh my goodness, Nico is buzzkill with the five of the subs. Did you just not give five okay. subs in the beginning of the stream? Holy, thank you so much for the support. Um, hip PS, high FPS, thank you for the prime. Amarillo JC, thanks for the Prime. It's John. Thank you so much for the seven months. Hello. Mo X Square, thanks for the two months. Pink Whale was last week? Okay, I thought it already happened, yeah. Also, nice doodle request, idiot. Oh crap, I completely forgot to ask. <laughs> it's okay. No one no one asked about the doodles, so it's okay. Dude, it's way too hard collecting information. That's one of the cons of running a giant giveaway. Having to like follow up with everyone, keep track of everything. It's not fun. Oh, thank you, thank you for the level five chat. I redeemed feed the cats? Did you now? No, there's zero requests. Oh, just kidding. Stebosaurus. I will get to it in a bit. I like the new blackout curtains. Thank you, thank you. Yes, today we're gonna. I have some. I have a couple fan mail to unbox, as well as some keyboard stuff. So we're gonna do that. And we're gonna check out a keyboard. <sighs> Men's under hello. I heard you have a second career as a voice actor. <laughs> no, you you missed out on it. You missed out. Chongosaurus, hello. Give merch preview, please. Nah, no previews. No previews. Give merch preview, please. Mm, one of my cats here. Benny, come here. Benny. Someday, son. Look at how big he's got. You guys remember how small he was? No, 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 no. What's up, Pin Tayo? Just built my first give thanks to you. Are there are there going to be more merch designs than the ones you leaked on Patreon? No, for this first one, it'll probably be just that. Yo, Tenjang, hello. First time catching stream pod. Hello, Sauce Knight. You gonna be doing self promo rounds soon? Also, can you do it? Hit affiliate after you watch. See the Helix Lab A A R U. I have not. Ridiculous C N C. What about it is ridiculous. Helix Lab A A R U. Love the content. A A R U. Oh no, I did see this, yeah. I did see it. Crazy cat there. Dude, I'm becoming a cat dad. Actual cat dad. <laughs> Power Turtle, thank you so much for the one year, hello. Elite Paul, thank you so much for the four months. God Ted with the two months. Cheesekeeper with the prime. Raz, thank you for the three months. You're gonna be doing self promo round soon? Self promo is locked. Also, Quinones will hit affiliate after two more streams. Wait, Quinones streams on Twitch? I thought he was streaming on YouTube. I didn't even know he streamed on Twitch. Terabyte, thanks for the four months. Dixie with the 16 months. 
Jombie with the bits. Shalar Bo, thanks for two months. What, what's poppin' today? I just built my first keep. Thanks to you. Hope it went well. Went well. Mr. Boxway with the six months. French Toast with the 15 months. 10 Peaches with the 15 months. Nimrats with the three months. Sauce Knight with the prime. Momo the Trader with the seven months. I was gonna make it to a year. You best count on it. Thank you, thank you. Resi things with the 16 months. Creedion with the prime. Liquid RTB with the tier one. Mio, my oh my. Thank you so much for the tier one sub. Whew, all right. We're done. Who moderates more keep streams? Zombu or Oblotsky? I don't think Oblotsky moderates keyboard streams. If he does, he does not moderate a lot. All right, let's get to this. Got some couple packages to unbox today. Happy, happy, yo. Thank you for giving me another expensive hobby. This implies Zombu mods as well. <laughs> Zombu does mod. Uh, hey, how even has the cat mug? Yes. All right. I know who this is from, but I have removed oh, their address. But this is from one of our viewers, Mr. Charles. Thank you so much for sending this out. I know what he sent me. Oh, hi there. Google store? Did I get a pixel? Oh man, just kidding. <laughs> Holy moly, what is all this? Oh. Wanted list, what? What is this guy doing? Wait, how fitting. If you guys didn't know, today is National Coffee Day. Happy National Cop. Auto focus, please. National Coffee Day, everyone. Da -da. I got some white rabbit candy. Ooh. We got some actual. We got a haichu. We got a coffee candy and a second white rabbit candy. Oh no, this cracked. Mmm, thank you, thank you. But Mr. Charles actually sent me coffee beans. Ooh, a hill of beans coffee. Never heard. Regular 8 ounce Guatemalan. Life is too short to drink bad coffee. True. I used to remove the clear wrapping. Oh, I think that's a lot of people though. And then we have the second one. Indian Malabar. Ooh. Not fair trade, GG. Ah, GG, true, not fair trade. Whoa. Look at how this smells. Puppy. Mmm. It's good with the candy. I like this. In, I've never had Indian Malabar. This is gonna be a first. Snort the beans, no. That actually tastes pretty good as a bean. What's this one? Guatemala? I've had Guatemala beans before. Toad, no, hello. This man just eats two beans raw? Yes. The bag has a scent to it, so it's kind of overpowering. Mmm. Not 
bad, not bad. Exciting. Looks like one of the dinos from Jurassic Park smoking the people. <laughs> yeah, check out a hill of beans coffee. Thank you for the beans, I'll try it out. Next packing. Mm. This is from Mr. T Cards. He even says, Open on stream if possible, please. All right. Your wish has been granted. Have you ever had chocolate covered coffee beans? Yeah, from Trader Joe's. Really good. Oh? Oh wait, I didn't read Charles there. Ooh. Wait, there's a actual... Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Oh? Hi chat? This isn't for me, is this for chat? Feels bad. It's a love note. It's a love note to chat. Whoa. Wait. You guys know what this is? Who in chat can tell me what this is from? Holy moly. Dude. Tea cards magic? Ooh. Ooh. I saw someone say it. Oh wait, can I read this on stream? Wait, this says high chat, so I can I I think I could show this off, right? Dude, Nathan, I saw that one day you Want to own your own museum of playing cards. Having more decks than I... Having more decks than I know... Having more decks than I... I know what... The heck is this? Having more decks than I... I know what to... To do... With... Having more decks than I, I know what to do. I know what to to do with. I, I'd be honored if you have, I'd be honored if you had some decks from my cool keyboards. Personal, wait, what? I'd be honored if you had some decks from my cool keyboard's personal co <laughs> Wait. Read it top down. Having more decks. I know to do be honored. No, I can't read top down. From my cool keyboard's personal collection. When that day comes, first card in the black First card in the black deck is for getting me into the mechanical keyboard hobby. Oh my goodness. Well, thank you so much, Mr. Travis Kim, AKT Cards. He actually streams, I tuned in once. He's a magician. He, uh, he performs at the Magic Castle in LA. Pretty talented. Seems like he's getting into the hobby. Can you really not read? No. I am a 1.5 gen immigrant. English is not my first language, I'm sorry. That was a wild ride, thanks for the slight stroke there. <laughs> this is so dank though, I actually have not won any of the recent Fontaine drops. And now, I have at least, I at least have their stickers. This is dank. 
drop out moment? I did not drop out. Come on. <laughs> Come on. All right, so this is what Mr. Travis sent us. <gasps> wow, he sent me so many decks. I mean, he probably gets these for free. I feel like if you're a magician capable of performing at the Magic Castle, you just have the hookups, right? No way he got verts? Okay, so this one I have. This is one of their more recent. I'll oh, just kidding. It's 2017. Oh, dang. I didn't know this was 2017. I actually have the uncut. Let me see if I still have it. I have the uncut poster of this. I found it. I've had this uncut for so long, I don't know what to do with it. <laughs> But thank you so much. I actually own this deck, but now I can use this as a beater deck. Ooh, is this older? Yeah, this is 2016. Dang. Do vert, do vert decks go for a lot? Serica deck? Ooh, Zombamon confirmed, plagiarized, Serica colorway from verts? I'm just kidding. <laughs> Speaking of Serica, Serica 2, dang, this is an old deck. I think I have one of these two. I'm not too sure. I might have to check. Why would cars get up to $60 LMAO? I mean, same reason. Why do keyboards go up to thousands of dollars LMAO? <laughs> Wait. Wait, these are all brand new. Holy cr- This- How much money is this on my table right now? Oh my goodness. Dude. This is actually open, but that's okay. Rip and dip is like $90? Well, I'm not, I'm not selling this. I've been very sad I couldn't win any of the recent Fontaine cards. Do I have this color? I don't know if I have this. I might. The Rip and Dip Fontaine decks are clean? Yeah, they are. I think I have carrots. I think I do? Unless there's multiple colorways. Ooh, Sean, hello. Flip it on mech market, trade for another 8x. No, I got this gifted from a fan. Plus, it's decks that I actually want. I'm not selling these. Sorry the Rips and Dips aren't sealed. Those are my last ones. No worries, Travis. Holy moly, thank you so much. Wait, they're your last ones? Do you have your own deck? I hope you have your own. I don't want you to give me your own decks. Man, let's take a look. So this is what the, uh, the deck box looks like. Does it stick the middle finger when I open it? Oh, it does! It sticks the middle finger when you open the deck. Uh, Jack Static, thanks so much for the 1,000 bits. Holy moly. One out of 10,000? Is this one out of 10,000? Where does it say that? Oh, yeah. There you go. No, no, I don't think this is the, this isn't the serial number. This just means you have one deck out of 10,000. But yes, only 10,000 of these in the world, probably. Whoa! Whoa! Dude, this deck is Pog. This is actually a Pog deck. Must be nice. Man, Fontaine's been killing it. That means you have the first? Is this actually the first? No way. No way this is the first. I think this is just... 
just means I have one of the 10,000. Yeah. I was wrong, wait, what? This is so pretty. Cluster Cats? How could you not like this brand? Lick me until ice cream. Okay. Whoop. TOS. Holy moly, this is so nice. Thank you so much, Travis. Oh, it looks so pretty too. <gasps> this is forever gonna be in its box. I cannot taint this deck anymore with my finger oils. This is too nice of a deck. Show the back. All right, my autofocus has been very bad lately. I don't know what's going on. Uh, let me catch up with chat for a bit. Ex Koki, thank you for the nine months. Uh, Tian Niwen, Yongo is. Un Yongo is not my. My Chopon Chili. Thank you so much for the 1000 bits. Uh, Pain, thank you so much for gifting a sub. Slide, thank you for the 10 months. Unleashed, thank you for the 1500 bits. Holy, thank you so much. Um, Chief Justice with the Prime. Rai Kami with a tier two for five months. Thank you, thank you. How are you doing? I'm doing pretty good today. It's a, it was very hot. It cooled down for a bit and then it got very hot. Uh, Egg Laboy, thanks for the bits. Is it reliable to clip the PCB mount off of a switch? Yes, you can do it. Joseph Burkhart, thanks for the six months. Toad No with the five months. Uh, Delafine with the eight months. Liquid, thanks for gifting a sub. Dang So Good with the tier one. Joni Jones, thanks for the six months. Happy half year, thanks for giving me another expensive hobby. No problem, man. More command, thanks for the prime. Ethereal, thank you so much for the three months. All right, let's take a look at the other one. Oh, please, autofocus. All right, that's what this card looks like. Distributed by Fontaine Cards. Ooh, another one of 10,000. My goodness. Does he also flip me off? Ah, he does. He flips me off. I finally got my NK65 with NK Cream. I'm so happy. Nice. Check the first card in this black deck is supposed to be. <laughs> this is the first card in the black deck. Ah, yes. <laughs> this is a rip and dip collab, yeah. Back design. Check out the Tess, Tessa Lattice deck by Hunky Dory Cards. Okay, I've actually never heard of Hunky Dory Cards. I'm gonna stand up, cause dollar. Pinks are the second edition, blacks are first. Thank you, homie lol. Oh my goodness. This is amazing. I'm gonna guess the artwork's probably similar. Yeah, it's somewhat similar, I think. I guess the cats here are just black and white. No pink business going on. Get a job. There's no money in flipping cards. Dude, this applies to keyboards. Get a job. There's no money in flipping keyboards. That's how you afford this hobby. Get a job. Be a productive member. Oh. Close your eyes, anyone under the age of 30. Stairs in mech market. <laughs> oh, this is so nice. Deck's in pretty nice condition too. That's a lie. My Kevin Durant rookie card sold for like 500. Oh, it's still so nice. Oh my goodness. Thank you so much, Travis. 
Just came in time for rip and dip cards? Yeah. I haven't won a Fontaine deck since... I think Carrots might have been the last Fontaine decks I was able to purchase. We've seen these decks. I'm not going to open. I'm going to keep it closed for now. I'm going to have to see if I have extras. If I do have extras, I'll open it up. Oh, speaking of, I actually purchased a text recently. These are personal cards I purchased. I think this was a Kickstarter. I haven't opened these. The reds are best feeling fontaines. Aren't reds the original? They look nice. If I remember, I did purchase this from Kickstarter. Cringe? Why am I cringe? Okay, autofocus is just not working with me today, GG. Got a GK64 for my first build today. Nice. Ooh. The back design. Okay. So, oh, whoa. Is this the new meta now? Just to have random, like, non useful cards in the deck? Huh. Camera loves Cyberboar? Hold on. I don't know why the autofocus is dying. Circle game. Okay. I don't know why I bought this deck. Maybe for the back design. Oh. Okay. It's got some art, but nothing too crazy. They are using custom icons, I think, but I think I bought it just for the back design. Metal Fever. Do you know any magic tricks? I used to do magic, but I probably flash stuff too much. <laughs> I don't really practice anymore. Today I learned there's a collector's market for playing cards. Mr. Mooner, there's a collector's market for anything that you can think of. To be honest, <laughs> you can flash me anytime. <laughs> there's that deck. Holy moly, thank you so much, Travis, for sending these out. These will forever stay in my collection. Unless, unless I hit the streets and I gotta offload everything I have. But until that day comes, this will be of my collection. Thank you so much. And these stickers. Holy. Look at all these stickers. I don't even know if I want to use them. Maybe I'll just keep it in my sticker pack collection. Let me show you guys an uncut deck. I pray that day never comes, same. <laughs> I don't know what people do with these, but on the verts, uncut what? Uncut decks. Deck, D-E-C-K. They hang it up usually, I see. But yeah, I used to be a, well, I still am a verts fan. Well, you can purchase decks of cards that are essentially uncut. That's what it looks like. You frame them and use them as art. I see. There's a rip here. Feels bad. It's just, it's perforated. I don't know why they perforate it. I would prefer they sell it without perforations, but and this is what the back looks like. And this was signed by the guys over at the bird. Very nice. Yeah. I'm a, I would consider myself a pretty OG Verts fan. Um, I've, I've, I discovered their YouTube channel before they like became what they are now. They used to upload like crazy, like cardistry, flourish videos. Um, I don't even think they operate under the verts then. I think it was still a, uh, it was still Huron's just like personal channel. 
And like the stuff he was doing was insane at the time. And now they're this like banger company. But yeah, I haven't uncut the dick. <sighs> Taya Vert's hipster? Yeah. I am not a bandwagoner. I discovered them before they became mainstream. Uh, Liquid Paper is still one of the coolest cars you out there. Yeah. FN Grief, thank you so much for the tier one. Uh, X Noodles, thanks for the three months. Us Lucas, thanks for the four months. Slot B, thanks so much for the prime. X Seagal, Z Seagal, thanks so for the two months. Hyper Gadgets, thanks so much for the prime. Solly, JS Park, thanks so for the three months. Tired Sis Admin, thanks so much for the prime. Chopo Daddy, thanks so much for the three months. Didn't realize the verts got so big? Yeah, the verts are legit now. I feel like they were, you could call them underground when they were young, but no, they're, they're pretty legit. <clears throat> All right, we got some more. Look at the audacity of this sub. Guess who? I actually don't know who it's from. <laughs> they didn't even have their name. They just said, guess who? Let's see what is in this package. Have you seen the black and white verts? Yeah, they had like this big like teaser campaign for it, right? I followed up with like the first two emails and then it got kind of a lot. <laughs> Bumblebee, thanks so much for the tier one sub. J Perms, thanks so much for the 11 months. Okay, what is in here? Whoa! Kinder Bueno. Kinder Spro- Wait, what are these elephants do- Oh, they're not even elephants, they're quads, okay. Wow. I've never had this particular packaging of Kinder. How do you open this? What? Do I need to rip? Wait, this is banned in the US? Why is this illegal? Because of these animals on the packaging? Choking hazard? Wait, isn't this chocolate? How do I open this? I'm just gonna open this. There's toys inside? Ooh, this is ginormous. As of 2017, Kinder Joy eggs variant, which are not chocolate eggs. Shake it lightly. Wait, can I not show this? I did not know they were illegal in the States. All right, you guys saw nothing. Oh, I know who sent this. They've been unbanned? It's illegal to sell. Mmm, okay. This guy, Lesnack, trying to get me banned on stream. <laughs> Alright, I guess I'll eat one. What if I eat one and then choke on stream? I guess it will just confirm the reason why the US decided to ban this. I've never had one of these in my life. Kinder Surprise. Open the toy first? How do you open... Can I open this? Ugh. How do I open this? Crack the chocolate? Just gently twist it? Oh! I'm just too strong. 
Is this safe? How clean is this thing? Mmm. Wow, there is knock off airpod. Tastes good. Oh. <laughs> mm. What the heck? I got actual monkeys. He's calling you a boosted monkey? Actually, though. <laughs> what? That's not trying to tell me something. What are you trying to say, huh? String them together? Or is this what kids play with nowadays? And you go, oh, oh ha, ha. Did you have the same ears as them? All right, their ears are pretty small, all right? How do kids play? What do you do with this? Do kids just sit here shaking this for a long time or what? Do they smell like chocolate? No, it smells like plastic. You're supposed to have a ton of them and make a massive chain. I see, or I could wear them, my monkeys. Oh. Maybe I cannot. Or... You're supposed to eat them and choke. <laughs> I am now one with the monkeys. Well, thank you, Les Snack, for the Kinder Surprises, for sending me this illegal snack I had no idea about with the subpar toy. I would have been very pissed if I got this as a toy. What is this? Les Snack. Tasty cheese dip and crackers. Wait, this has cheese? And crackers? Dude, I'm gonna get fat this stream. It's a snack. <laughs> All right. Wait, this makes it looks like they somehow shoved the cheese inside crackers. Is that possible? What kind of... Oh, I got baited. Wait, what? This is such a big debate. Ah, you dip it. I see. A snack made by Uncle Toby. Is this also banned? I hope this is not a banned Hello. snack. What if this cheap? You are banned. <laughs> Uh, hi Chu, thanks for the nine months. Hello, hello. Grave host, thanks for the two months. Solar Carbon with the Prime. KZ No Suit, thanks for the Prime. J Purpose, thanks for the 11 months. Thank you, thank you. All right. First taste test. Oh, this is a solid. EU cheese, let's see how this tastes. Mmm. It's not bad actually. Tastes pretty good. Open the paper wrapping. This? Are there more monkeys in here? 
Wait, there's nothing inside here. What? Looking inside here to troll. <laughs> what? Oh no, my monkey fell. Oh no. The Oscars packaging. Let's see. Wait! What? Is this my lucky day? I got another Fontaine set? What does this mean? Pick a deck, any deck. Blue Fontaines, I definitely have, but thank you for sending me out another one. How much do blue Fontaines go for? Oh, this is sealed too. Unopened. Very nice. Supreme back. Playing cards. Like $50? Damn. Well, I'm not gonna sell. I'm just kidding. I don't plan on selling decks of cards. I go through decks way too quickly, so I will actually use this and keep it if I ever get back into cardistry. But thank you, thank you. Wow, I got. I got like four Fontaine sets. One, two, three, four. No, I got five Fontaine sets. Oh my goodness. Wait a minute. We meet again. Mr. Vegemite. This seems like the same brand that Mr. Uh, Mr. Petrov sent me. The cursed substance. I I literally gave this to everyone around me, but they all hated it. Oh, okay. That reminds me, still have my Fontaine signed by Albert. Oh no. Is there only one? Actually, the packaging looks slightly different. I don't think the one Mr. Petrov sent me said B vitamins for vitality. I do enjoy the occasional Vegemite on buttered toast. Mm, after trying it, I don't know if I can say I crave it. I'll eat it if it's on the table, but I have yet to be, I have yet to crave Vegemite. Oh. That's what it looks like. All right. I will. Let's see how Australian snacks are. Hello, Mr. Tobio. It's Ait. Does not beat Korean snacks. IMO. You should try Armenian food? I love Armenian food. Mm. 
Yeah, honestly, Asian snacks are the best. TBH. Alright, I do like this cheese though. I'll eat the cheese in one go. Asian snacks for the shout out to Kushik for Enchi Market. A little, a little strong towards the end. Overall good though. <laughs> is there an Asian food Vegemite as compared to? Uh, I don't think so. Can't think of one. Jerk chicken, thanks for the 14 months. Asian snacks for the shout out. 99 Ranch Market. Ooh, 99 Ranch OP. Zuckus thinks for up to six months. Honestly, like the like the cafeterias inside 99 Ranch too, I eat there sometimes. Drab Drabori, thanks for the three months. Mr. Corey with the 13 months. Yo, thanks for the 19 months. Ray Dancia with the Prime. Bullet Bolt thinks for the nine months. Is that Ritz and Mayo? It's like the uh, Australian version, I guess. Airy D's, thanks so much for gifting us up to Nate Tech. 99 Ranch or H Mart? Dude, H Mart for sure. I mean, 99 Ranch has some good stuff, but gotta stick to my roots. H Mart's pretty OP. <clears throat> you got more to unbox. Alright. I was sent this. I actually don't know who this is from. I was not in the other ones. I was somewhat informed of this one. I was not given a heads up, but it says RGB gaming mouse pad. I don't know if this is a beat or if I'm actually sent an RGB gaming mouse pad. We will find out. Oh wait, this is actually a game. Can I show this? Oh no, I, th I think I can show this. I think... I think this is actually from Mex and Co. I think... We, uh, we showed off their desk. They, they made this. They made this and then they have their cyber board. Yeah, this is the Mito collab. Looks like they shipped it out. Yeah, this is from Mex and Co. This is one of their desk mats. I think they have two in this bundle. Looks like I only received one. All right, this, that's what this desk mat looks like. The, uh, Mito, oh, the Mito collab with Mex and Co. It says laser up there. I think they should have done without this. Stuff here is fine, but this looks a little out of place. Use it on this stream? Yeah, why not? There you go. With nothing on the mouse pad. Is that a jank Mercedes logo? <laughs> yeah. Well, thank you, Mex and Co. for sending this out. I will use it for this stream. <clears throat> okay. Now we enter the keyboard stuff. I'm not done unboxing. something else oh no I'm late Charles I unboxed your coffee thank you so much hi Tia do you know when you're opening up your commissions form again rough ETA I don't have a rough ETA unfortunately I do not um, I do have a newsletter you can sign up for though I also ping all my socials when I do reopen how many desk masks are on the desk I am currently just at two 
I'm at two. Oh my goodness, Mex and Co with the 15. <laughs> Holy moly, thank you so much, Mist. Mex. Mex and Co. I think you need to change your name a little bit. It's a little hard to say. It's. If I say it too fast, it sounds like Mexico, but thank you so much for the 15 gifted subs. Mex and Co. Yeah, it looks nice though. We know it sounds like Mexico sad. I've been really liking the uh, elemental desk mat. I'll be rotating through all the colors. That might be the point. I don't know, maybe. All right. But yeah, check check out Mex and Co. Uh, Hubble 65 also being vendored through them as well. Hubble 65 also being manufactured by Mr. Our very own Salvin, I believe. So go check them out. What is in here? I know what's in here. What does chat know? Oh. Wait, what is this? I got some navies. Gonna do a build with them. Customer AE. Wait, I'm not AE boards. What? <laughs> Product name switches. Navy color. 110 pieces. Very nice. Have you tried the new Cherry Hyperglides? I have not. Yeah, I liked them in the uh, Sagittarius build I did. I'll definitely be lubing it up, trying them out. I'm a big fan. Oh, that's what this is. I'm a big fan of the uh, UHMWPE stems as well. Very smooth, I liked. So I'll definitely be using these in a future personal build. These are personal switches. But yeah, thank you, thank you. Is there an Aquarius board? Uh, I believe there was a board that called the Aquarius. <sighs> that was years ago though. I think it was by, I forget the runner. It's like Oscar something. But I don't, that's, that's, that's a long time ago. Do you like the sounds of those stems? I did. I built up the Sagittarius with these last week. I really liked it. I really liked it. If you're looking for a not too aggressive bump, but that's smooth and nice, recommend the uh, navies. Thank you, thank you. All right. Did you get the banana split switches? I have not. I have not. Um, Joey Saladino, hey, thank you so much for the two months. Hello, hello. Is the bump similar to that of Ergo Clears? I would say so. The ones I tried, I don't know how they were lubed, Urban Lime. The Sagittarius, I don't know who lubed it. The bump didn't feel too big. I, I want to say Ergo Clears felt slightly more tactile than the Navies, but I'm not sure if the legs were lubed or not. Do you do any wireless keyboards at all or only wire? I only do wired. No wireless here, unfortunately. Uh, World Core, World Tour CO, thanks so much for the Prime and Ellie the Cloud, thanks so much for the two months. Third trimester, wait, what? Oh, I see. Dorney, thank you for, thank you for the seven months. <laughs> All right. This is the final, final package I have for today. Okay, I need to move some stuff up. There's, I have no space here. Uh, I have here a package. From Abcon Core. I think you guys might have heard of them. This box is kind of jank though, to be honest.
Yo, Cartoon 91, long time no see, hello. GSRT, thanks for the tier one sub. Dosso RB, thanks for the prime. And I think I am caught up. Box might be easier to cut than take. Uh, school is back and I have not had a lot of time. No worries. Hope you're focusing on school. Today, we are going to be taking a look at one of their latest offer. Oh my goodness, why is this so heavy? Whoa. CNC full aluminum. Okay. Okay. Interesting. This is way. Oh, this is heavy. <laughs> um, you can purchase this on Amazon. And I was sent this out for free, but this is not a sponsored stream. I guess it's sponsored in the sense I get to keep the unit, but. Uh, I'm not being paid or anything. Uh, let me pull up their thing. I do have a discount code. If you guys are in the market for a TKL that you can purchase currently just off of Amazon, they are retailing for... Let me bring up my... I have a coupon code to release. All right. Oh, that's expensive. Okay, let's see. Let's see if this lives up to the price. I have not taken a look at this beforehand either. Let's go through the packaging first. AR87, CNC full aluminum, mechanical keyboard, side rainbow LED. To provide a simple yet stylish housing design. Specification, Cherry MX, full end key rollover, okay. PBT die sub, 87 keys, USB to US, USB to type C. Made in Korea. Oh, they have a Chinese, China branch too, interesting. This board is, no, it's not 319. Um, the retail price currently for, if you get the blue, black, or brown switch, it's $240. If you get the silent red, it's $260 for some reason. But the, uh, the promo code today will reduce it by $40 or $50. $40 $50. <laughs> okay. I mean, packaging so far, it's pretty... There's a lot of stuff going on, but... Ooh, we got the brown, thank goodness. All right. Nothing too crazy going on. Packaging, nice. Ooh, it comes with a carrying case, okay. Wow, this is heavy though. <laughs> This is heavy, and you can purchase this off Amazon currently. Let's take a look at the case. Let's take a look at the case. Oh, interesting. So this actually has an angling to the zipper, which we don't see on any of the current uh, keyboard case offerings. They're all just straight up uh, cutting the case in half. This one has an angling. Wow. Okay. They only have their logo here. Otherwise, just a red and black case. German translation hurts. Uh-oh. <laughs> Ooh, okay. Okay. This is what we get when we open this up. Uh, user manual teaches you how to use some of the function keys. You can switch multimedia, volume, mute, LED, full key lock mode. What does that mean? 
Windows key lockdown mode, okay. Uh, yeah. Don't need this. Does have straps? Oh, what the heck? This is one heavy boy. <laughs> wow, they're actually selling this on Amazon. This here is the keyboard. This is the AR87 from Opcon Core. <laughs> These keycaps look familiar. I wonder if this is the same one that comes with the NK65. Ho ho, this looks familiar. This kind of looks like the new TX design stuff. Wait, there's an acrylic diffuser, huh? This is kind of like duck. Oh my goodness, this is a chonky. <laughs> That's tall. I kind of get TX vibes as well as duck vibes from this. Shake it. The acrylic piece is slightly loose, but that's also the same with duck keyboards. Uh, there's the uh, USB cutout. Honestly, pretty nice. So this is straight up just aluminum. Let me get my... Uh... Scale here. Yes, hold off on purchasing this until the end as I do have a coupon you guys can use. And it will give you a hefty discount. <laughs> so just been tear it. This whole thing here, six pounds, 7.8 ounces. Does it come pre-lubed? We will find out. We will find out. Okay, it's not lubed. Uh, what else comes in this bag? They give you a little brush to clean your keyboard. They give you a keycap puller, as well as a USB-C to USB type A cable. So we'll use this as it was meant to be used. <laughs> what the heck is this? Let's see what this sounds like. Oh, okay. Okay. So this is the side glow they were talking about. Is there any on the back? Nope, no underglow on the back or the front. It's just all on the side. Let's do a typing test of this. I don't think the stabs are lubed. <laughs> but we are gonna start off today's stream with a typing test. Can we get the words per minute bot? Started mods. All right, bot is live. Oh, I need to take a screenshot, hold on. RGB. Three, two, one. Boom. What are these numbers? You are people are currently guessing how they fast they think I will type in a one minute span. Put the mic down.
All right, bot is no longer live. This is the uh, typing test of the Albcon Core AR87 as configured with their Cherry MX Brown switches. The keycaps are PBT and we'll see what kind of mounting system this has. But here we go. This is what this sounds like. What do we do? do, do. No! No! 129? Fudge. Alright, these are what the mods sound like. All right, so clearly no uh, no lube of any kind. <laughs> Do these, oh, okay, so the indicator lights work. So you got two indicator lights. Um, should we do one more typing test? That is a rattly boy? Yeah, this is kind of rattly. I'll say there's, what is this ticking sound? I wonder why it's, is it just a bad switch? Okay, this is just a bad Cherry MX Brown. Okay. Please, not another one. All right, I'll save you guys from that. Let us open this up and see if this is actually worth the money or not. Are you going to mod it? Probably not. All right, let me bring back the music. Um, I mean, if this case though, so let me see, on Amazon, some people are saying that shipping is expensive. How much is shipping? Let me check right now. No thanks. Proceed to check out one item. Uh, wait, shipping is free. You just pay tax. Does this qualify? Yeah, this qualifies for prime shipping on Amazon currently. At least for US. I don't know about other people. But at least for us US folks, this has disqualifies for prime shipping. All right. Um, the keycaps, I don't have the, the NK65 to compare this with, but it reminds me a lot of the keycaps that come with the NK65. So this is Dysub, PBT. Uh, I mean, it's got inconsistencies, but did you really ex expect better <laughs> from a $250 keyboard off Amazon? It could be worse. I would say that. I don't think this is super terrible for a off the shelf keyboard quality. Uh, yeah, given it's an off-the-shelf, okay, the arrow keys look kind of, I don't like the arrow keys, but. I would say the die sub, it's about what you'd expect from um, just pre-built keyboards. Maybe slightly better. I would take this any day over 
any of the backlit options. It's okay. It's okay. All right, let's open this up. QC past. does use uh, let me say one thing I noticed this bottom design is interesting there's like a I don't know you got a cut out here you don't see it during normal use it's good it's covered but I don't know when you view it from this angle slightly interesting I wouldn't say it's my favorite I don't like how it looks <laughs> from this angle, but that Anno is KBD fans level. Uh, I would say it's a mix of KBD fans. I wonder if this is just a Korean thing. Like Korean, Korean keyboards, they tend to look like they're grainy. And this is no diff exception. Like the anno looks grainy, but it's consistent. It's, consi it's consistent throughout everywhere. There's no like splotch or patch. I'm wondering if it's just, a, I don't know, maybe Koreans like that look. As a fellow Korean, I'm not the, I'm not the most fond of it, but yeah, it's consistent. I mean, overall, I wouldn't say this is a terribly ugly looking board. I mean, it's a TKL. You don't get too much <clears throat> craziness in, from the view, from top down views. Um, this is a keyboard that currently would compete with the KBD 8X. Well, maybe not even. The KBD 8X, the retail prices, I mean, the aftermarket is ridiculous. How much do they go for? Like four or five hundred dollars now aftermarket. This is a keyboard you can purchase on Amazon for two hundred fifty dollars. Assuming this is top mounted, if you purchase this and then replace the switch, there may be hope. I don't know. The KBD would have better switches though. No, the KBD just comes with the case. It doesn't come built. 8x retail, yeah, the retail is 300, but you can't get them for retail currently. It's tray mount? Is this really tray mount? If this is tray mount, well, I guess it's tray mount. <laughs> U80 10 times better? Yeah, I mean, I wouldn't compare this with the likes of U80. Should I sell my U80 and buy this? I wouldn't say that. I'm hoping this is top mount. No! What is this? It is tray mount. What is it? What is this? What? I to say something funny for okay. Huh. What is this screw here? Oh, I think this is what was rattling. Hold on. Yeah, the acrylic doesn't make much. These are alignment posts that shake. I don't understand. Oh, they come off. All right, I don't want this because that shakes. <laughs> okay, that comes off. Huh. What is this plate design? 
So you can see it kind of... I think the plate encases the PCB. Look at this. It's like wrapping. Okay, we gotta take this apart. Is this using plate mount? Oh, it is using plate mount stabs. All right. You know, I just realized. I don't think I've tried a plate mount TKL. Is this the first tray mount TKL I would be trying? Are there any tray mount TKLs? <sighs> this might be my first. Stream is so dark. It's probably the desk mat. Hold on, let me increase the brightness. How's that? Is that better? There's one on the oh, there's one here. Check behind G and H, there is none behind. Uh there might be actually I'll check. Nope, none there. I think there's one on here though. Yeah, there's one here. Oh my goodness. At least it's magnetic. Thank goodness. Can someone explain why is Tremont considered trash? Um Okay, well sorry, hold on. Let me let me clear up my uh my feed. Uh officially Libra, thanks so much for the host. Sorry I missed it, but thank you so much. Welcome, welcome. Sketchy Panda, thanks for the six months. Now that I finished moving to Alaska, I can finally watch these streams. Hope your move went well. Milk Ham, thanks for the two months. Um, Salim Monella, thanks so much for the Prime. Remdel, thanks so much for the one year. Lao Wow, thanks so much for the Prime. Fluffy Butt talks about the one year. Thank you, thank you. I'm Milk, thanks for the 100 bits. Uh, what does this button do? Anyway, I finished my first build of an NK65. Congratulations. Nathan Drake, thanks for the Prime. Phantom Peanut Butter, thanks for the Prime. Sugar Tea Milk, thanks for the Tier 1. Monetic, thank you so much for. The uh, tier two sub. Thank you, thank you. Um, tray mount tends to have a very stiff and inconsistent typing experience um, because you because your PCB and plate configuration rests on mounting poles um, in certain areas of the keyboard. It tends to sound clackier around where those poles are as well as it feels a bit firmer around there because it's literally just sitting on a pole. So that's why people generally don't like tray mounts. Whereas if you do something like top mount, um, it makes the typing experience a little bit more uniform throughout all the switches. Um, so that's why tray mount's been memed on for a while. I don't think tray mount is in necessarily a bad thing, but there aren't many good tray mount keyboards out there. Yo, you fallen. Thank you so much for the five get the subs. What the heck? Thank you so much. And where's Joe? Thank you so much for the 15 months. Okay, so they do have little cutouts here for you to stick your fingers under and then just pull up. Wow, what the? Huh, it comes with foam. Pre-installed, albeit it's rather thin. It's like it's extremely thin. I wish they would have included two or three of these layers. 
but it's pretty well cut. Pretty well cut. And then the acrylic pieces are actually just screwed on here. Are you sure that's not construction paper? No, it's not construction paper. It's definitely foam. It's definitely foam. <laughs> All right, this is the keyboard. Man, these mounting posts are tall. Look at that. I don't think tray mount mounting posts are normally this tall. This is really tall. And I don't think this plays well. I feel like the shorter these mounting posts are, the maybe it might be a bit more of a soft bottom out experience. But man, these are tall. <laughs> these this could be reduced quite a bit, I think. Um okay. PCB made in 2018. I'm not sure about this design though. Why did they have it curve like this? I guess this helps keep dust out. Let me see. So this is mounting here. Yeah, I guess, I guess that maybe that that's their reasoning. If stuff falls into your keyboard, they know that gamers are dirty. You know, it prevents it from falling deep underneath. There's the plate. For goose skip. <laughs> I am curious. It is a $250 tray mount TKL. This is also something you don't see. Look at this. The mounting posts, they're just literally just one row on top, one row on bottom. <laughs> and they managed to line it up decently well in terms of top and bottom. Would you guys buy this for $250 and then mod it yourself? It's not QMK compatible, but it's a TKO. You don't really need to reprogram a TKO. I mean, you could just desolder all this. Put in your own switches. Probably not. Get a Durgod instead. But look at this is so heavy, guys. Don't you guys want the heaviness, the heft? If it was top mount, yeah, it is a shame this is not top mount. I would have preferred it to be top mount. If it was a top mount, that would be an interesting story because then you can actually consider modding it. But this is tray mount. And I'm gonna say I'm not a fan of how stiff it is, nor how it sounds. At least USB-C. What mounting config does the KBD75 use? KBD75 V1 is tray mount. I believe V2, V2 changed to top mount, right, I think? Do it. What the heck? I just know. Wait, what is the point of that? Wait a minute. V2 is also train mount? Okay, there you go. I don't get the point of this. They have a little hook here, so I'm guessing that's meant for this to not move around. Well, why would it ever move around? Like once you, do they expect users to not have these or screwed into the post? Like what is the point of adding this here? <laughs> and there's a cutout here, cutout here and cutout here. Probably helps with quick alignment. Oh, automated alignment. I see. Okay, that makes sense. I see, automated alignment, huh, huh, okay, no matter how I move it, I can see the screw of the mounting post, okay, that makes sense, 
wow, that's that's an odd choice. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I could push it to any direction. If this was automated, it could still get screwed down with ease. Okay, makes sense. Makes sense. <sighs> All right. I don't think there's much to talk about this. What if you dremel off the inner mounting points? You could. So that is that is a model. I wonder if these are removable. Hold on. No, I can't. Um, what a lot of people will do with tray mounts, um, they'll sometimes remove some of these inner posts and essentially we have it just suspended from the outer ones. Um, it can feel better, it can sound better. I am not gonna do that. <laughs> I'm just gonna keep this as is. But yes, that is something people do. Wild put, Wildcat put tape on the bottom case and it sounded a lot better. Tape? What if I fill this up more? I don't know where my phone is. Gee. Yeah, I don't have my phone on. Um, would I pay 200? Well, with the promo code, it is $200. $200. It's steep still. I think this keyboard, they just kind of made it expend, made it, they made it heavy for the sake of it being heavy. Um, I don't know. I guess they also thought maybe if they were first to market with a uh, with an all aluminum keyboard housing like this, it might attract buyers. Um, I'm sure this might make the average buyer very excited, but I find this a bit of a hard sell for a custom enthusiast. Unless you're okay with tray mount, unless you're okay with uh, replacing the switches on this. It won't, I wouldn't say this is my favorite keyboard, even considering its price. I mean, $200 for a TKO that's all aluminum, I don't think it is a terrible price. It's probably okay for the Korean market. Yeah, I wouldn't necessarily call this overpriced. I think it's just more so, um, it's not something I'm necessarily interested in. They are targeting people who would buy a pre-built, don't know about the custom market. Yeah, for sure. I wouldn't say this is aimed for customs enthusiasts, but a TKL, all aluminum TKL <clears throat> for $200. I don't think it's too expensive. Aren't some gaming keyboards about the same price? Yeah. Well, the uh, the Huntsman, the Razer Huntsman tournament edition, tournament edition we saw, that was also 160, right? So given that a Razer, which is mostly plastic uh, keyboard is 160 and this is 200, Oh, it's 120. I see it's 120. Ah. Okay, let me tighten all of these up. Well, people who don't know anything about the custom market even care about having an all aluminum case. No. Well, I think this is a little too much. Like six pounds, it has a novelty factor, but I don't know how much the average person cares about having a six pound keyboard on their desk. <laughs> I mean, I'm currently typing on a plastic HHTV case. I kind of like it. A few 
you like it, stick around, because I'll give you a discount code. This board is probably the most customized and worked on board here in Korea. This board here, the AR87. Yeah, oh, okay. I think, I don't think this is necessarily a bad entryway to nice keyboards. Um, it is all aluminum. It still has side RGB. So for maybe, for people who aren't willing to give that up 100% yet, uh, you could do that. It it's a TKO form factor, which also I think is more digestible than just jumping into a 60%. It's not, ex it's not super expensive to the point where if you destroy this PCB, it's the end of the world. I don't know, maybe if you mod it, it might sound nice. If they had a black version, it would be slightly better. Seems like a decent product to mod. Yeah. This also wouldn't be a bad keyboard to gift. I mean, if you, if there's someone out there that you would give a $200 gift to, well, 200 plus like lube. <laughs> Maybe if you want to replace the switch, you got to pay for the switches as well. But you know, I, I think this keyboard would give a good impression to someone new to the hobby. Gifting a six pound keyboard? Yeah, easy. Um, it's got, it looks like the standard three mil bump on feet as well. You can replace that pretty easily. The switch selection is pretty poor on this board. Yeah, it looks like it's just blue, brown, black, and silent red. I've been talking to my friends about this board for years when they wanted an entryway. There you go. It's like gifting a baby. I am going to leave the stock as is, just so I can keep it as a reference for if I ever need to compare this to other keyboards or something. I would like to lube the stabs at least, but that doesn't make it stock anymore. So I'm just gonna keep it as is. You can desolder the slots for the LEDs and buy TX LEDs. Oh, uh, I think the LEDs are fine. We can we can take a look at the LEDs. Okay, I removed the mounting posts. Oh, you can hear the foam. But I mean, you're not gonna be shaking that. But no more of that tinny rattle. My half of the board? Nah. Gonna leave this as is. And at least, at least there is now another budget TKO. It's not technically custom. You are forced to get it with a switch, but there isn't really a, uh... yeah, I mean, budget for a TKL. It's budget for a TKL. <laughs> $200 ain't budget, it's budget for a TKL. A custom, a aluminum TKL, let's say. An all aluminum TKL. Did you receive your U80? Yes, I am waiting for a build for it. No? What do you mean, Soran? You can either get this for 200, you could get a drop control. Is that also 200? I think drop control is 200, right? 250, 200? It is 200. Um, KBD 8X 
is a hundred dollars more. Uh, I would rather get a Leopold. Okay, I mean I would too. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, it's a ton of aluminum. And like I said, I think they just made it. I think they went in, they went in with a not too crazy design. I wouldn't say this is the best, but I mean, this for someone new that doesn't know much about keyboards, but wants to get something premium, this does, this would catch someone's eye, I think. Keycaps, I would say they're more than fair for the price. Uh, I don't think the keycaps are necessarily the lacking factor of this keyboard. I would say if, if anything, the keycaps are probably the nicest feature <laughs> of this build. It would be nice if there was, um, if they lubed the stabs even just a little bit, but it looks really clean. Knock on line, GMK minimal would be really nice. Yeah, yeah, there you go. That was his keyboard. <laughs> Ducky's TKL is like 120, but that's not all aluminum, is it? Ducky's TKL is still um, plastic, no? It is heavier? Yeah. USB port cutout also pretty large. So I think you could fit most custom cables in here. There are some Duckies that are all aluminum, I see. Before Opco, there were several companies competing the CNC Alu pre-built. Lick test? No, I'm not going to lick this. GMMK is half Alu. Yes, it is. All right. Time to release the code. Where is the code? The code will be... So you guys have until... The 30th of this month until tomorrow <laughs> to use this code. Uh, where do you put in the code though? Kim Just on Amazon? Can you put in promo? I guess you could. Wait, hold on. Let me make sure this works. I've never used a promo code in Amazon. Please type on me. Enter a code. Oh, it works? Holy crap. What? All right. I'll give you guys the link for now. Oh, that's a long ass link. Okay, they gave me a short link. All right, this is the link to purchase it. And if you guys would like to save 40 to $50, use code Heha AR87. Let me post this in chat. Um, depends on which variant you're buying. If you are purchasing the blue, brown, or black, you use code Teha AR87. If you're purchasing the silent red version, there is an S at the end. Very creative code. I didn't have a I didn't have a choice over this. <laughs> yeah. The original price, if you get the blue, brown, black, it is two hundred forty dollars. If you use my promo code, it becomes one ninety nine. If you the silent red retails for two hundred sixty dollars. If you use my promo code, it's two hundred dollars. Yeah. I wish that code worked here in Korea. I am sorry. Maybe you could try it in Korea. Why do people happy? But I think mine is just for the US. Um, Jintae, thank you so much for the five months. How are you doing? Boopy doopy, thank you for the tip. Hi, after some time of planning, I built my first mechanical keyboard. A two for the D60. Thanks so much for the content, it's been really inspiring. Thank you, thank you. Yo, Zekin with the 25 months. Please type on me. Kimchi Jody Boy, thanks for the six months. Give launch code. Ranger Horse, thanks for the six months. Uh, Boopy Doopy things with the Prime, Aiden Works with the two months, Schultz McGhost with the six months, Zeiss with the one year, thank you. Bueno Bills with the tier one sub, Jera One Bear things with the tier one, Switch Clicker with the tier two, holy thank you so much. Voidak thanks for the tip. I'm debating between an Iron 165 and a Key Cult 165. If it was you, which would you go for and why? Uh, I'd probably go for the Key Cult 165. And why? I think it looks nicer. 
Lavelle, thank you so much for the 17 months. Merch when? Still no update on my merch, unfortunately. Teal Technic, thank you so much for the 17 months. Heavy T, thank you so much for the Prime. Brian Yap, thank you so much for the tip. I have a question. Can you use Crytop Stove for Grizzle on to loop the plastic bits of the stabilizer instead of fungus? Yes, you can. That is what I do on stream. All the other keep streamers I know are resubbing today. <sighs> who, who? Oh, Kim P. Jody Boy, yeah. Man, who remembers when Zekin used to stream? Zekin didn't. Zekin used to stream, if you know this. <laughs> what do you think is the all time ugliest board? Ooh. I. All time ugliest board. Hmm. No one remembers? I remember. The good old days. Honestly, I think the ugliest keyboard, just off the top of my head, is the five degree. I absolutely do not like how the bezels are cut on the five degree. KBD fans is my sponsor. And I'm so sorry, KBD fans. And I know it's popular, but I don't think the five degree looks very nice. <laughs> Rip sponsorships? Yes, the KBD fans 5 degree. I do not like the way it looks at all. <laughs> modern M0110? I, okay, I mean the modern... I would easily take the modern M0110 in terms of looks over the KBD fans 5 degree. I'm gonna just hide my 5 degree. <laughs> I'm just saying I don't like the look, but I mean, it's a, it's a cheap keyboard. It's a great entry into the hobby. There's nothing wrong with it. I'm just saying personally, <laughs> I think it is one of the more ugly keyboards I've seen. <laughs> the polycar version looks nicer. I mean, it, yeah, it looks nicer because it hides all these weird cuts a little bit better. Because with the polycarbonate, you don't see the angling as much. <laughs> this man did not care about his job security. I mean... I'm gonna, I'm gonna be honest. <laughs> what about feel? I think the feel looks nicer than the five degree for sure. Roasting your sponsor SMA? This isn't the first time I've roasted my sponsor. If I send your Armenian snacks to the PO box with you, get them? Yes, I do have a PO box. But yeah, one more time. Thank you to Ak Akbon Core for sending this out. Um, I do know they have more popular products. I don't think this is their most popular one. Uh, they have been, I have been noticing them more throughout the years. So hopefully they'll send me out there. I think they have a 60% as well. Let me check Amazon. Um, I do know they are somewhat used in Korea as well. Oh, they have a whoa! They have gaming headphones and mice on Amazon. Okay, but yeah, they do have affordable options as well. This just happens to be their all aluminum full CNC lineup. Um, what about the cyberboard? I would. I think the cyberboard looks better than the fire degree. <laughs> Uh, I absolutely love the AR7 on two of them. One stock with modest stabs and one with aliens soldered in. Yeah, like I said before, I think the price is more than fair for what you get. Um, it unfortunately isn't the perfect thing for me as a diehard and custom enthusiast, but um, I don't think this is necessarily a bad purchase for people starting off either. It doesn't require you to sacrifice too much. Um, I guess that's one of the hard things I have. Putting myself in the mindset of someone who's new. I need to get used to that as well. But yeah, I think I think what they're offering for the price, more than fair. I mean, it comes with a carrying case as well. It comes with all these accessories. Um, I do think you get a premium experience for the price and money you're paying. Yeah. Do you like the pudding caps? I hate pudding keycaps. If anyone has a 65% KBD fans brass plate, tell me I'll pick up a I'm surprised you didn't choose a board with the knobs as ugliest. 
no. I would still take the Satisfaction 75 over the KBD fans 5 degree. <laughs> Even if they were the same price, I would pick it. Remember in Korea, this board has abundancy? Yeah, that is true. In Korea, this is not limited. I'm guessing on Amazon, there's only eight left. Whoa, only eight left in stock. And it ships by this Sunday. What if someone was to combine both of them and call it the Taya 75? Okay, buddy. <laughs> Dang. Can I, can I file a trademark for Taya? I don't think I can. I hope no one calls it a TAS 75. That, that, would, that would hurt my soul. <laughs> knobs aren't that ugly. I agree. There are hardware with knobs that I think look nice, but I still have yet to see a keyboard with a knob that looks nice. Uh, I'm pretty new jumping into your streams, but you definitely inspired me to build a new board. Thank you. Putting keycaps directly, I totally agree. Ask Dropper of mine to find trademarks. <laughs> um, boopy doopy, thank you for the tip again. After building. Building... No, you cannot remove switches from an HHKB keyboard. Assuming you're talking about the HHKB, you cannot remove those switches. But thank you for the tip, boopy doopy. Russian blue things for the four months, we're calling it Taya. No, if you make a Taya 75... <laughs> no, please don't. <laughs> Kill Chi. Kill Chi, thank you so much for the three months. Bandle, thank you so much for the two months. T, thank you so much for the tier one. I'm Azra, thank you so much for the tip. I can't sub feels bad, man. SMS payments are gone on Twitch. No worries, it's okay. Thank you so much for the tip, though. The streamer, there's a prime. Nunu Duck, thank you so much for the four months. Had to steal my mom's Amazon account for this sub. Nice. Oh, man. Naming my firstborn Teos. <laughs> Teos gonna come in with the litigation. I did file, I have filed for trademark. But it's a, it's a very long process. I, I don't think I'm going to hear back for like another six months or something. It's a very long process. But it's for Teha types. I don't know if I could file one for Teha. It's longer now because of COVID? Nah. Wouldn't be surprised. <laughs> yeah. Um, I probably will not build a keyboard. Should I game? But if you guys are tuning in now, tomorrow, normal stream time, we're gonna be building a PC. It's gonna be a sponsored build. No keyboard build tomorrow, PC build. So if you guys wanna watch me struggle, if you guys wanna help me build out my keyboard, uh, build out my PC, please stop by tomorrow. And then Saturday is going to be the cat only stream that chat has uh, won or accomplished. This Saturday, I'm gonna guess, I'm, is morning easier or what? Do you have a pro mist on you? Yeah, I do have a pro mist on this. Should I take off the pro mist? I can't do it right now. No custom PC built by Chris? Uh, well, maybe I will ask Chris in the future, but tomorrow's build is sponsored. I was pretty much sent most of the parts, so can't refuse that. Right, what GPU are you getting from the redacted company? Wait, I posted in Speakeasy, sorry. Chat's greatest accomplishment, what is chat's greatest accomplishment? Oh, the cat stream, yeah. <laughs> Osla sleeve, Osla sleeve restock, it is coming, yes, it is coming. Yo, Teha, cool shirt, thank you, I got, the one who inspired me to buy this was Mr. Redacted S in chat. Uh, Payne, thank you so much for the tip. Is there any place to get hot swap PCBs? KBD fans? Boners Weenus, thank you so much for the three months. Are you restreaming the Prez debate? Are you allowed to? Is Twitch having an event? I don't think you can 
just straight up restream the debate. Ditto's dead. Thanks for the tier one sub. Felix Force. Thanks for the two months. Dong Sarangye. Thanks for the ten months. Give me a fat kiss, daddy. Is that Mr. Redacted's brain? Yeah, his brain is so large, it just spills out. That's how omega large his brain is. <laughs> Trying to get him DM DMC8? Yeah, I haven't, I haven't heard of anyone restreaming presidential debates. Ooh, maybe now is a good time to plug. To plug. The Taya Types subreddit. In case you guys didn't know, if you guys are new, there is a Taya Types subreddit. If you guys have funny clips or I don't know, anything related, feel free to use this. I feel like it would be nice if we can have Reddit recap sessions on stream, assuming enough people use it, but You've told us about the CPU? No, I posted a picture, Soran. Look for a picture. I screenshot, I took a picture of all the parts I got sent out. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Teha Type subreddit, there is Teha Snipes, Teha Tapes as YouTube channels as well, if you guys aren't already following. I've been uploading some vlogs there outside of gaming content. Please go check out the vlogs on Taya Snipes. Taya Tapes is where I upload all uh, VOD exports. So if you guys ever miss a stream, want to rewatch streams, Taya Tapes is the place to watch all VODs. Taya Types, of course, my regular channel. I am hoping, uh, hoping to release a, a non-typing test video in two weeks or so. I have most of the editing done on my end, but uh, I am working with an editor currently and trying to get some animations done for this upcoming video. So if you guys aren't already subscribed to Taya Types, be sure to on YouTube as well. Yeah, found someone or working with someone for this video currently to handle editing, uh, a little bit of editing slash animations. Hopefully it turns out nicely. Watch this beforehand, thanks. What is this? Stop doing it wrong. How to kill your seat? What is he doing? No, what the? <laughs> Yo, Teha, did I make a bad decision by lubing my keyboard with WD-40? Yes. Is the low profile case from KBD fans louder than others? Uh, depends on how you build it. <laughs> Eggla boy, thanks for the tier one sub. Okay, Sorian doesn't want me to game. I probably shouldn't game. My my viewership tanks when I game. It feels bad. I will send you guys off to someone else. I do have to uh, go out and run some errands as well. So I will call today's stream a little bit short. Uh, let's see if anyone, if there's anyone I can raid. React to the Gamers Nexus video, but I'm gonna get DMCA then. Come on. All right. After all, thank you for the six months. Thank you, thank you. Steve would never do that. Who is Steve? Hmm, should we raid? a keyboard streamer, a musician who is writing a song. Do you guys want to watch Genshin Impact? Seems like that's the new flavor of the month game. Uh, a musician? Yes. Uh, Raid small streamer. Let's go give. Let me see what he's doing. Hold on, I got hit with an ad. Okay, let's go give this guy a raid. We're gonna go give one of my online friends, Mr. Vincent, a raid. He is currently composing a song. He's a 
pretty popular musician. Gotta love the ads coming back on Twitch. Honestly, I'm okay with more ads. <laughs> I'm okay with more ads. Like the, the culture of Twitch is very anti-ads, but I'm used to YouTube where you're just constantly hit with ads. And I feel like ads are one of the ways for platforms to survive, so. I am personally okay with ads. I think it's just gonna be a while until Twitch culture accepts ads. <laughs> what ads? Yeah, I also need to get to running ads. You can skip ads on YouTube though? True. That is true, yeah. I should run more ads, huh? Where can I get a Ronin hoodie on Ronin's website? <laughs> but I feel like I'm missing something whenever an ad comes up on Twitch. See, I feel like that's regular streamers, but me, I don't gain. You don't miss out on anything when I run an ad. I take two hours to lube stabs. I hit an ad, I'll still be lubing stabs, it's fine. <laughs> Alright, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Thank you for hanging out tonight. Maybe I'll stream later tonight if I have a game, but until then, see ya nerds.